What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, baby, we are back with a new Darman reaction video for you guys today. This is the first one we are reacting to of the new year, and you guys know that Darman's videos always have good messages and just just overall good content in general. So we enjoy these here on the Vaughn's POB channel. This one dropped last night. It is called uh, Darman. Dad commits crime to save his dying son. What happens next is shocking. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it's like to be a father, but I know for a fact that if I had children of my own, I would do anything for them. So let's see exactly why the dad is committing a crime to save his son. Let's find out. Original video always be in the description down below while you guys are down there. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media platforms or my new gaming channel, the links for those will be down there as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel, though, with notifications turned on because we are uploading videos for you guys every single day. Uh, thank you guys for the continued support, baby. But let's dive right into this life lesson of a Dar Man video and check it out. Let's go. Are okay, we starting off in the woods? The dad's hunting for a deer, looks like. If this is the dad, I'm Jack assuming Shiller. it is. I've seen him before. Okay. This is something I ate. What have you been eating, man? Because you've been having a lot of these moments. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't Good. even... Okay. Like I, I personally, I like animals too much. I can't kill an animal. When you guys get like, I can't shots. do. It. I don't care if it's hunting, eat like fishing. I fished before. Don't get me wrong. I'll fish, but normally when I catch the fish, I put it back into the water. Like fish are like my favorite animals, but I don't. I couldn't kill an animal, bro. I just couldn't do it. Maybe I'm too nice of a guy, or I have too much love for animals. I know I eat animals, obviously, but I'm not the one killing the animal. You know. Leave it to the black man. Leave it to the black man. Let's go. <laughs> he the only real G there. <laughs> we got a big job coming up. Are you sure you're cool? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, what, can you uh, like lay off me for a little bit? I'm good. I'm going to be fine. All right. I'll meet up with you guys in a bit. He's going through a lot. You can tell. Remember, only after I give you the signal, that's when you come in. All right? You got your mask? Good. Knox, keep the car running. We should be in and out of there if everything goes well. Oh, shoot. So they about to rob a bank now. Okay. Okay. Or something. They're about to rob something. It's not too late to call it off. We got a job to do, and we're going to do it. You need therapy, Jax. What are you talking about, man? I'm not gonna go see some shrink. I'm not some little soft little doughboy. What you're dealing with is anxiety. I know because my son had it. Anxiety is therapy crazy, can man. Help you. I don't like therapy. Speaking I don't. speaking on anxiety, real quick. Like I'm not gonna lie, guys. I suffered a lot from crazy anxiety. Uh, really, when I when I dealt with the pandemic, the 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 loss of family and stuff like that. That shit gave me so much anxiety, and I was in such a dark place at the time. Like I and, and it's something I never went to therapy for or anything. I had to fight my way out of that and I was able to do so. Like I know how to control my anxiety now at this point in my life. I know how to control my anxiety in my and I've never been an emotional person. But um, man, that shit is real. It happens for everybody, like the fear of things and just like overthinking things and all of that. And I have ADHD as well. Like I was diagnosed with that as a kid. I never took my uh, medicine for it. One of my anxieties is taking medicine. I don't like to take medicine. Like, I, I know it's not good to do that, but I, I've gotten, I found ways around, you know, when I, you know, stuff, stuff's going on with me uh, on taking certain medicines and things like that. But that was one, that's always been one of my biggest anxieties and fears as well. Have anxiety. So I couldn't even imagine what the anxiety of, of is of not only doing this job that they're trying to do, they're committing a crime, but he has a meaningful reason to why he's doing it. Is he in the right? No, but you would do anything for your son or daughter, I'm assuming. Like that's, you know, that's a reflection of you. That's your DNA. The old man would be pissing me off too though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Just staring at me and shit.
You okay? <sighs> Call it off. Oh, they didn't do the job. Hmm. Got my appointments mixed up. Is this a couple's therapy session? What did you say? The session's for Jack's here. Are you two relatives? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, uh, Brett's head of my security. Oh, <laughs> I have you here is working in consulting. What would you be doing with a head of security? Well, what's with all the questions? What is this, like an interrogation? Relax. He's just doing his job. I'm gonna wait outside. I understand that first therapy sessions can be a little uncomfortable for some people. <coughs> I don't think I ever want to go to therapy, to be you, honest. Yeah, let's just let's just get on. My therapy is okay. talking amongst family and friends about deep, I like having deep conversations. That's one thing that me personally, that I absolutely love. Well, I love intellectual I conversation. Anxiety. I'm a great conversationalist, if that's a word. But like, problems, like I, I like that kind of stuff. I don't I, see. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I can see myself in therapy talking to a stranger. I don't know. I got to talk to somebody I, I know or somebody I'm vibing with, a shorty or whatever, or you know, just like family and stuff. About my feelings. That like somebody that makes me feel like I can open up. I don't think I would be able to open up to a random you know uh However, you know therapist or whatever I understand you a doctor that's a different story i would feel more comfortable opening up better. to a doctor than a therapist I knew this was a waste of time I said. Daddy. You can't get me, bud. Hmm. <laughs> yeah are you okay hey why don't you go sit down Make Poor little guy. Feel bad for him. We really need to start the treatment. When do you think we're going to have the money? Soon. How soon? I thought you said you had another job lined up. What happened to that? It got delayed. Okay, Regina? No, I just got home. Can you just get off my case for two minutes? Get off your case? Damien's life is on the line. You don't think that I know that? He's my son, too. Look, I'm going to do everything that I can to help him. But I don't need you breathing down my neck every five seconds. I'm sorry. I... Look, I got to take this. Hey. The guys found another target and want to try again tomorrow. tomorrow? Another target? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, 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 we. Are we are we are we just hitting licks? Or are we are we are we uh you know taking people out to get what we need to get? <laughs> Don't you think that's a little too soon? Can we just like? Oh, Damien! 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 Oh yeah, you better take that job, Damn. my brother. Yeah, buddy. Did you take me to Harry Potter at Universal when I get better? Of course, son. Anything that you want. Promise. I promise. Excuse me. Speak with both of you in the hallway. Hey, well, we're gonna be right back, okay? Oh, I would be traumatized walking that five feet out there to listen to this lady. His cancer's spreading. And if there's any chance that he's gonna survive, then we've got to get him into treatment right away. Look, I'm trying to put as much money as I can as quickly as possible. Is there any way, any way that we can get the treatment without the 25 grand up front? Well, the full treatment is actually closer to 100,000. And even with the loan, the 25,000 is literally just a down payment, minimum. What? Listen, I'll, I'll go check on him, okay? But if we can't start treatment soon, there may not be much I can do to save him. Damn, that shit is just so fucked up, bro. They need like a... We were thinking about that shit, man. I'll be hearing people say that they get free health care in like Canada and stuff like that. We need that. We need that kind of support and help here in the United States. Like there's so many people out here struggling and going through and have things going on that can't 
quite frankly, afford to be in the hospital and take care of themselves. Like we need more benefits and stuff like that for people here in the U.S. I'm always seeing people help, you know, other. You know, I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's just that we lived in a fucked up world, bro. <laughs> like we really do. <laughs> Take that job, bro. How have you been managing your anxiety lately? Can you please not say it like that? I understand you don't want to talk about your personal life. How about work? Can we talk about that? <laughs> Jax, what are you doing here? There's nothing I can do if you're not going to open up to me. I'm guessing you've probably already seen other therapists who wouldn't prescribe you anything, so you come back to me. I don't know what your line of work is, given you have a head of security, but as a therapist, there are certain things I gotta disclose. If you talk about hurting somebody or the intent to commit a crime, I have to report that. That being said, as long as you don't say those specific things, I'll still be able to help you. You understand? Great. Now, let's try this again. What do you do for a living? Oh, I do a bunch of things. For example, if someone has a debt, I find creative ways to... Uh, Make sure that they pay up. Oh. As in debt collector for collection agency? Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Oh. Don't make me hurt you. Give me the money. Yeah. Something like that. All right. Anything else? I help people get into places to retrieve valuables. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. He, <laughs> he over here dry snitching on himself low key. Like there's just no way you should be have like mentioning any of this with people. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> exactly. I'm a locksmith. All right, uh, is there more? This therapist, hey, this therapist is like, oh yeah, we finna catch him. Paid to do it. Oh, you're a babysitter. Hey, yo. We're gonna have to do this, man. Huh? Yeah. Oh! Just tag it! 0673! I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think Sorry. I've ever seen this amount of violence in a Darman video. I'm a babysitter. So that's pretty much everything that I do. So can I get some pills now or what? We'll get to that. Now, when you're feeling symptoms, have you ever tried breathing exercises? But there's something called a four, seven, eight breathing technique. You breathe in for four, you hold it for seven, and out with eight. Never heard of that. I don't think I would ever. So maybe I could do that if I have like I a little pay you bucks an panic hour attack to while tell smoking or something. Great. Wow. I've had that happen in the past, by the way. Smoke so much, get so high, you have a little panic attack. You ever feel guilty about what you do? What? What are you talking about? Why? Why would I feel guilty? Well, because your work is so untraditional. Sometimes I've seen patients develop uh, ang similar symptoms because their morals no longer line up with their occupations. Mm. In these situations. Employing a little bit of empathy to one's life can help. Well, doesn't empathy feel like you, you're like sorry for somebody? No, that's sympathy. Empathy is when you understand and share one's feelings. Like putting yourself in, in another, another person's shoes. shoes. Okay. For example, when you work as a debt collector, have you ever thought about the person who you're collecting the debt from, how they might be feeling? Or when you work as a locksmith, how valuable those things might be to that person? 
or when you're babysitting, how much you might charge the person you're watching over. Well, good way to look at it. To be honest, um, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need to do this also. Like I'm a good person and everything, but I'm also a Capricorn. I can be stubborn. It is Capricorn season, but I can be stubborn in things. One thing about me, I don't really give people the benefit of the doubt because I have been through a lot of stuff and people have done me wrong in the past. But like, so when it comes to new people, sometimes I kind of just like, I'm kind of like standoffish and cautious because I don't, you know, feel like it. I feel like comfortable to open up to certain people sometimes because of certain things from my past. But I need to start. You never know what somebody is going through. So also, I need to start thinking sometimes for myself as well. Like, OK, let me put myself in their shoes, which I have before at times in my life. But it's not something that I do all the time. But maybe I should do that more often, especially when, you know, somebody feels, you know, has feelings towards me or feels a certain way about me or, you know, and I kind of just you know, brush it off because I have done that kind of stuff in the past. So, yeah. Think about that stuff before. It's all about getting better, man. It's all about becoming a better Lately, person each and every day reason, and improving yourself. I have been. Ah, you may be experiencing something emotionally in other areas of their life. Yes, sir. That's causing you to feel empathy towards the feelings of others. Yes, sir. And that guilt that you have may be part of symptoms even like teach me how to like turn it off suppressing your feelings is the problem <laughs> Key. it's crazy because i've been told this too because i like me being a capricorn when i'm going through something man i push it down i still get on camera and smile for you guys and make my videos i don't ever open up like i just keep things to myself and i push my feelings down and I've been told by several people that I need to stop doing that. It's just hard, though, because I've always been like that. <laughs> I'm not an emotional person. Empathy. And in my experience, the best way to empathize is to imagine yourself in somebody else's shoes. Hmm. I got this is go. a strong message. The, like, I, 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 I like, over. I like this message. I like this message. The only thing he's thinking about right now, though, is his son. All right, Red so and I, we're gonna go to meet up with the millionaire. Now, just keep the car running. Gage, Cole, wait for the signal. If you don't, he's definitely the signal, gonna put himself in the other millionaire's shoes. I can already see that. it coming. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Gotta ask you something, boss. You good? You seem a little, uh, different. Mm -hmm. I am good. Don't worry about me. You worry about you, and you worry about doing your job. Can you do that? Yeah. Great, let's go. <coughs> so we can completely upgrade the HVAC system at 40% less than the other guys charge. <laughs> wow. This all sounds great. Sir, your son has just arrived. Oh, great. Uh, he can wait there with you. I'll be right there. But my apologies. My wife has some meetings, so she dropped my son off here. I didn't want him at home by himself because I'm sure you guys know about all these break-ins and kidnappings happening. Yeah. I'm even looking into hiring personal security because you can't really trust anyone nowadays. Dad! Hey, kiddo. Oh. You're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, dad's at a meeting, but that was cool. Um, it was good. I, I missed you. I told everyone at school how you're taking me to Universal today. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. huh. I told him that I Universal hit dead, dead friend. Man. That's all he's talking about. He's obsessed, and he even got a hair pot of broomstick in my office and everything. <laughs> Damn. It's not easy taking off from work. He early, has so much empathy right now. He dad, putting all that shit. And he putting himself in his shoes, man. Minute, I'll be he was just in those course. shoes the day before. So what do you want to do? It's almost three o'clock. I gotta let the guys know. Cut it off. Cut it off. It's a no-go. Jax is calling it off. I repeat, it's a no-go. Hey, 
This guy for real? This is the second time in a row. Hey, look, man. I ain't come all the way out here for nothing. I'm getting my money. Hey, man. It's not off. I'm coming inside right now. No. Do not come. He's got his son with him. Do you copy? Gage, I need you to... Con oh, I think I'm so sorry, but uh, I think that we gotta go. And and you gotta go, too, to uh, the uh, Universal Studios, so... Yeah, in about an hour. No, I think that you should go right now. Is everything okay? You guys seem a little... <laughs> Back up! Put your hands up! Nobody move! Put your hands up right now! Come oh, on, man, that's his kid, man. We don't have to do this. You kidding me? This kid's worth double. Are you two in, in on all this? Look, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. All right, guys, come on. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. Nah, you may not be, but I am. I need my money. I'm here to collect. Go crazy. Go crazy. Say it today. Think about your son, man. Do the right things. Poor little boy. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... We don't get half a mil in that account index hour. You may not ever see your son again. You feel me? Hey, I'm about to see what's going on outside. Make sure they don't try anything. I thought you two were trying to help me. I opened up to you about my son and everything. I'm so sorry, Richard. Like, I got desperate. My, my son is in the hospital. He needs cancer Stop treatment. Stop talking. Grab the paper and get on your laptop. We got time to waste now, rich man. I'm not going to ask again. OK. OK. Hey, you better not be trying any funny business. Get out of here. Let's go. Gage, ah! drop it. Come on. Now we both know you ain't about to pull that trigger. I saw you with the deer. You saw. Oh shit! You no this killer. episode is deep. This is like you a movie. But I am. Freeze! Everybody, freeze! You too. I thought they was gonna pull the trigger on each other, boy, on some John Wick. You've got a visitor. Richard, what are you doing here? I decided not to press charges against you or Red. Why would you do that? Look, what you did was wrong. There's no doubt about that. But I also realized that you tried to save my life. So I put myself in your shoes and yep. I also realized I don't know what I'd do if my son was dying. I'd probably try to do anything too, even if it meant ruining my own life. <clears throat> anyway, I thought you'd be happier knowing that you're getting out of jail. I am. I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about my son. I just don't think I can help him. Well, I may have a solution for that, too. Well, I gotta say, <laughs> you got a really strong kid here. He's responding really well to chemo. And he's gonna get to keep most of that. I wonder if uh, I wonder if he if Jack's got a job. I wonder if he got a job <laughs> at Richard's uh, at Richard's place Thank also. You. Damn. Dad. After I get better, See, like, that's, that's, you still take I'll, I'll wait until, until we finish the episode. Man? Absolutely, bud. And you know what? Somebody actually wants to go with you. Is 
This is Richard and his son. Richard's the one that hired me to be head of his security. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You have no idea what a blessing you've been to our family. Well, Jax has been a real blessing for us. I couldn't ask for a better head of security. It's almost as if he knows how criminals think. <laughs> and you must be Damien. We heard wait, you wait, wait, hold on. The names is backwards as hell. Why is the white kid named Damien? So, we got you something. No way! I always wanted to try one of these! And not only good for flying on, but I hear they're pretty good for self-defense, too. <laughs> Yep, yep. Damn, man. This is deep. I got goosebumps right now, bro. <laughs> oh. I love this content, man. I needed this. WW episode as always, man. What I was going to say, uh, if, I re if I can remember what I was going to say, what was I going to say? I don't remember. I said I was going to wait until the episode was over. But the fact that Man, all that stuff happened so quickly. He put his shoes, he put himself into people's shoes um, that, you know, he was doing wrong to. And just like that, maybe that would be uh, something good to do. Like um, go back and, you know, start. maybe I should start writing and shit like that. Like just other little things. Like I know I play the game a lot and I do videos a lot, but I need something else to do. And I hope and all that. But this is stuff that I've always done my entire life. I need a new little activity that I can do that also like just helps me you know think more and release you know certain things but hey let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below original video will always be down there as well as all of my social media links and my new channel as well thank you guys for the continued support love y'all and i will see you guys in the next one baby we're out peace